Hey guys, what's up? It's Will Patterson here again with another Illustrator CC tutorial and it is a good day because a couple of days or a week ago, Illustrator brought up this release or this update for Illustrator and Photoshop. Now we have Illustrator libraries, which is really cool. We can just add some artwork in and just drag and drop it and it'll fall into here. And this is something I did in a video. And it just falls in and it's amazing. You can get it on your phone. It is just an amazing idea that they brought in because now that goes into my Photoshop as well. So no more copying it into Photoshop. It's just already there and it's amazing. But the coolest feature I think that will help Illustrator newbies is the curvature tool. Now it's over here on the top left here. Uh, just below the pen tool, it's sort of pen but with a curvy line to it. And this is called the curvature tool. Now to get it in the hotkeys, all you have to do is press shift and this button. I don't know what it is, but on the Mac it's next to Z. Um, and then we basically just follow this guide that Illustrator brought up. If you want to get this guide, um, go to help, go to welcome, and then it'll bring up the new features here. Go down to here, draw and edit curves, and then get files. And you'll get this file and it comes straight from Adobe, so there's nothing to worry about, and then just click off it. So basically this curvature tool is all about the pen tool but creating curves automatically for you. So in this exercise it says with one single circle is a single click, two is a double click. So we're just gonna go into the center here, making sure smart guides are on. Uh, here yet, so command U, it's on. And then we're gonna go and press in the center of these, if I can correctly. It's not snapping to point, that's a problem. Amazing. And there's basically, I just have to click and it's created a perfect circle with the pen or well, the curvature tool. It's going to get rid of my stroke. I don't like that. Awesome. So I, I like that. I'm not going to do these exercises though. I'm going to go ahead and try and do this. So this is the body of a guitar. So basically what you're creating here is the guitar itself uh, and different parts of it. And then you can put it together and it's supposed to look like this. So here I'm just going to start off there. And then it gives you a little work top here. It's really cool. All I'm doing is clicking and joining the dots basically. And it's amazing how they've done this. And this can be very useful if you're not very, uh, what's it called? If you're not very well known with the pen tool, it could be very useful for you. Anyone who does use a pen tool, it might annoy you a little bit. And that's fine. It can annoy you a little bit. And it is lagging a bit. And I need to, I'm wondering why it is. Um, I wonder if that's just because it's a new bit but my computer should not be lagging over this let me join that up and i've only had to click there and illustrator has done all the bending for me so we get these nice smooth paths i've noticed up here uh there is no smooth paths and i reckon we could sort that out let's just see if we can use a smooth tool yeah we can we can use a smooth tool and the way that i did that was just getting my brush out pressing b and then using alt and then moving that smooths it out so that is a curvature tool. Now, where could you use this? You could use this on so many different platforms. I reckon, uh, especially within lettering, you could use this. I was just wondering whether, uh, say if I was, I'll get something out here. Hang on, I've got something up here. Okay, let me just open a new file so I can show you something. Let's go to a thousand, well no, a thousand, and a thousand. And I'm just gonna go to my libraries and bring this out. Okay, so this is something I scanned up. I never went around it with a pen tool and I'm not gonna do it just now. But uh, you can see with the curvature tool, we could easily sort of go around here and try and sort of work it out um, by just creating loads of different anchor points basically, as you can see here. Um, and it will just create these curves for you automatically as you go around. And it's just absolutely amazing how it's uh, been done here because you can just follow the pattern, create some amazing text just make and make it so smooth. So this could be very good for lettering or people who do lettering. Um, it takes some getting used to, but I think it's much easier than the pen tool. If you're very adjusted to the pen tool and you really like the pen tool, I wouldn't switch. Uh, otherwise, you know, it might take more time than it actually would with the pen tool. Um, because some things you won't be able to do with this curvature tool, I do believe. Uh, but with the pen tool, you can do a lot of things. So if you're new and you're wanting to uh, understand how Illustrator works with the bending and all that, then I would suggest 
going ahead and use this curvature tool to as much as you can to get used to it. And the next video, I'll probably be talking about some of the other updates like libraries and how it can uh, interact with you and your client work. Also, I just wanted to bring up uh, the fact that I've got a, another course coming on Curious.com. If you don't know what Curious.com is, it's basically a website where you can learn um, different things like random things like design work or how to make your dinner or something like that. If you're curious about it, it's on there. And it's from teachers like me who teach you. And the courses are very cheap. Actually, my t-shirt course is half price right now. It's only at $9 and it's got 10 lessons in there. And they're ama I think they're amazing. I I'm being a bit big headed, but I think you should go and check it out. But anyway, I've got a logo course being made as we speak. Um, things are happening as we speak and it's going to be awesome. I'm hoping for a release within the next couple weeks or within the month depending on how well my finger is because I hurt my finger so guys thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video goodbye